look at kind of the guidelines the White House has put out, I think that there's uh, that that's a pretty good roadmap. And I think we're just going to make sure that we're doing it in a way that, that that's smart. Tonight, the clock is ticking towards Thursday at midnight. That is when the statewide safer at home order does expire. And today, demonstrators hit the streets of Tampa for a rally to reopen Florida. It undersized Justin Checker at that rally today. He's live for us tonight in Tampa with much more. Justin. Hey there, Rod. Good evening. Some of the demonstrators tell Eight on Your Side they've recently lost their jobs and they're just eager to get back to work. Well, I think it's time for us to reopen the economy again. Public health experts warn a rush to reopen could result in another wave of illness and death from COVID-19. We should probably be safe about it, but I think we're kind of overdoing it right now. Jack Guarino says he got laid off during the pandemic. People are suffering. People aren't getting the, the money that they need. I mean, what else are people supposed to do? A Quinnipiac University poll released Wednesday found three out of four Florida voters say the economy should only reopen when public health officials deem it safe. So if it takes opening different things slowly, but let's get people back up to work. I, I think that it's been long enough. Out of work since the middle of March, Fiona O'Rourke tells Aid on Your Side she's had no luck applying for unemployment benefits. I've tried several times, but it doesn't go through. It gets rejected. Demonstrators at this reopen Florida rally in Tampa say essential sectors of the state's economy, like the service industry, Industry, tourism and hospitality have been hit hard enough. I'm in the hospitality field and I do banquets and I don't see that coming back anytime soon. The governor's reopen Florida task force is seeking recommendations from the public, but he recognizes life in the Sunshine State won't return to normal overnight. Even if you could flip the switch, um, if people don't have confidence, then the economy is not going to just take off. That's just not the way it works. And the mayors of Tampa and St. Petersburg say they hope whatever the governor decides will allow for local governments to make decisions they see fit for their cities. And Rod, if our viewers at home want to weigh in, the link to the governor's public comment submission portal is on the WFLA app and our website. Rod? Perfect. Justin Checker reporting live for us tonight. Justin, thank you.